Landing Crew. So today's video is our photo shoot of our family. We did a family photo shoot about a month ago. Our photos are finally in, so I of course wanted to share them with you guys like we share all the others, and I wanted to take the time before showing them to you to answer frequently asked questions on our channel. I felt like this would be a great video for new people. I don't know where my tripod is. We're in the middle of a really big move and things just keep disappearing, so I'm sorry if the camera is kind of shaky. I'm on the Gorilla tripod, but a lot of people ask, what does our landing crew stand for? So the land in our landing crew, if you notice, it is capitalized, and that's because it stands for the first letter of all the kids' names. Lonnie, Liam, Alexander, Noah, and now Nellie, because Penelope's nickname is Nellie, and then Danielle. Another common question is if we are going to have any more babies. For anyone that is new here, we have six children, 14, 13, 11, 3, 1, and 3 months old, and we are not having any more babies. Our baby factory is closed. Alani had a vasectomy when I was pregnant with our sixth baby, Penelope, and so there is no more babies going on up in here. Lonnie and I have been married for 15 years now. Another common question is if Danielle is adopted. Danielle is not adopted. She is from a previous relationship and she does see her dad. She sees her dad every summer and every other holiday. We alternate between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Danielle's dad and I have a really good relationship. I know that's a common question too, like what's the relationship there? And we have a great co-parenting relationship. We are all friends. I talk to his wife. We are all just buddies and just feel like the healthier relationship we all have, the healthier relationship Danielle is going to have. It's just better for the child if everyone can get along. I know that's not always the case, but thankfully for us it is. Some of the more recent questions we've been getting is about a big move we're doing. We currently live in northern Florida in the Jacksonville area and we're moving down to the Tampa Bay area, well, actually outside of Tampa in the Clearwater area. But a lot of people are like, why is that happening? I thought you were moving to Boston. I did in fact actually do a video about this, but I feel like a lot of people missed it because that is a very common question of what happened to Boston? I'm confused. I thought you were moving to Boston. The video will be in the pinned comments along with the description. I did a video pretty much explaining that that Boston was the better choice for us, but because we cannot buy a house for another year or two, it just makes sense to move down to the Clearwater area. Clearwater is better than Jacksonville as far as services for Noah, and it's just easier. There's a lot of different benefits to it. I'm, I'm not gonna go into deep detail because that's not what this video is about, but there is a video on that. We are moving down to Clearwater, not Boston. We are renting the home that we're getting. We're 90% sure that's the house we're going to move into. We will probably look at a few other houses just to make sure that that is the house for us because the next house we get will be a house we buy. So this is going to be our house for a little bit until we're ready to buy. But it's four bedrooms. The bedroom arrangements will be that Penelope will be sharing with us. Liam and Noah, my one and 11 year old, will be sharing a room. And then our 13 year old son and our three year old son will be sharing a room. And then Danielle, my oldest will be getting her own room. The only reason we did that is because Lex does not share well with hardly anyone, but he does really good with Lonnie and Danielle. It just made the most sense for him to room with Lonnie and Liam and Noah get along really well. So it just works best that those are the siblings that get along the best. Another common question is when did Noah start talking? Noah had what they called an articulation disorder. So he did technically start talking around three, but you really couldn't understand what he was saying until about five to six. I say that age because that's when the average like strange could understand like 75% of what he was saying. So around age six is when that happened. Noah got diagnosed with autism when he was four. Another common question is, is all my kids special needs? And no, they are not. The only child that has been diagnosed with special needs or autism is our 11 year old. It seems that our three year old is pretty typical other than like some sensory issues, speech delay, that kind of thing. All of those things I think he's going to grow into just fine. My one year old and newborn, we have no idea. So I really don't like saying 
saying one way or the other, but they have not been diagnosed as special needs or autistic or anything like that because they're so young. I didn't know that the chromosomal abnormality that the doctors think is the reason for like the autism and different special needs. I didn't know it was hereditary until our fifth child was already here. He was a couple months old when we found out. And at that point I was on birth control. My husband was about to get a vasectomy. So another common question is why would you choose to have more children if you knew? We did not know. Before we decided to have our fourth child, we went to a geneticist. They told us it was probably just a fluke because our first two kids were completely typical. Nothing was going on at all with our older two kids. Like they reached every milestone like they were supposed to. They have a little ADHD, but nothing out of the ordinary that would make us think that we would have any other children that would have special needs. I really don't look at ADHD as special needs just because Lonnie and I both have it. So we're very equipped in how to deal with it. So I really don't look at it like that, but we had no reason to believe that we would have any other children that would have that. Lex was me meeting every milestone like that and he was completely fine. By the time that Lex started to show a little bit of concern, a little bit of delay, I was already pregnant with Liam. So the last commonly asked question that I'm going to answer before getting into our beautiful photos is why is Lonnie Jr., my 13 year old, not in videos more? If you've noticed the last couple of videos, he is showing up more. I feel like because we're daily vlogging a lot more now and I'm really enjoying it guys, I really am. It is a little bit more work, but the more I do it, the more we get into routine and it gets easier, but he has been showing up a lot more in them and it's not because we don't like him or we don't think he should be on video, but we hold the stance that if our children don't want to be on a video, we're not going to put them on a video. If we start to edit something and I'm unsure about it and I ask them and they say, no, I don't want that to be on the channel, we delete it. We're not going to force our children to be on camera. We want them to be on camera when they want to. And it's not necessarily that he didn't like to be on video. He just didn't know how to just kind of do his daily life while still being filmed. Like every time I would start filming him, he felt like he had to act a certain way. And so it kind of just made him feel uncomfortable. But the more we do it the better he's getting at it and that's kind of that I think it's anything I think it takes some getting used to so that's why you haven't seen Lonnie Jr. on a lot of the videos but that is it guys if you have any other questions that you want me to answer I usually try to answer them at the end of the four month update but I found there are certain questions that are just asked a whole lot and so I wanted to answer those um, and I know there's a lot of confusion about like us moving to Clearwater instead of Boston and things like that for everyone that hasn't been able to keep up with like every video, which I completely understand. You guys have lives too, but I was very happy with how these photos turned out. This day was so crazy trying to get all six kids smiling, looking. It was just a crazy day. I like the candid photos better. Like the one that you'll see of Lonnie Jr. kissing Penelope. That was not planned. Like that wasn't something that she told him to do. He was just doing it when he was holding her for me when we were like switching out the kids and stuff and she just happened to grab a snapshot of it. So I really, really like them. I hope you guys like them too and we will see you guys tomorrow. Let the photos begin. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. Heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind.
be enough, be enough for you, baby. I'll do it all, do it all for you. I'll be enough, be enough for you. Cause you make me feel like, yeah, you make me feel.